Whoa, whoa. See, that's wrong. I pop out with a lady. And you, you don't know it's wrong, but you try to force it anyway. And you blame the plugin, but it's not the plugin. It's just the fact you didn't know. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Sky Jordan here. And in today's video, it's going to be a little bit different from all the other videos I've done on Auto Tune or in Ways Tune and just in general. Everything is just going to be completely different. And that is because I'm going to give you the ultimate cheat code on how to use any pitch correction software. It's one hack, bro, that you just need to understand if you're a rapper, producer, engineer you have to understand this auto tune is basically a keyboard and your voice is the fingers playing instrument all right but what you can do to make your job a lot better and is, is to learn the circle of fifths right the circle of fifths is something that you need to learn you know what I'm saying? especially if you're an engineer an engineer you need to know this a producer you need to know this and rappers i'm telling you you need to know this you need to understand this so you can understand why you should always record in the correct auto-tune key. Especially like an auto-tune pro, right? You see this right here, you set the settings up, right? You turn your speed up, right? All right, so you see the beat. I chose this beat for a specific reason because I'm gonna use it as the teaching moment, all right? It says D sharp minor, right? So you go to D sharp, all right? And then you go to minor and you see it just switches to E flat minor right all right and you wondering like okay why don't i have my scale like why is like why don't i have my key on a scale there's no d sharp minor scale like it's it's not one it is one but it's not one and that's the confusing part about it so what most people would do in this situation they're just gonna go back and they're gonna take that they're gonna try to switch it to major but they see it's no d sharp major so now they're gonna be confused and then they're just gonna try to find random things to, to make it sound or they just might put it in d minor thinking that that's d sharp minor but it's not all right so what you're going to want to have to do is learn the circle of fifths so like you see on the screen man this is really important this is the circle of fifths and everybody should download this or just take a screenshot put it in any phone just search it and you want to learn scales right this is like you want to learn this like and it's really important and as you see you don't want to pay attention to the key signatures because we're not writing music you just want to focus on the major keys and the minor keys right and you're going to see like the relatives to each one so what do we say we got d sharp all right if you got d sharp minor right here which is in the purple right here we got D sharp minor, that is E flat minor, right? It's no D sharp minor, but it's E flat minor. So instead of trying to record in D sharp minor or just stressing for it, if you know the circle of fifths and you just don't change anything here because it does it for you, if you don't know it, if you if you know that D sharp minor is E flat minor, you record in E flat minor. All right? Just like B flat minor is A sharp minor, you know, like you just going around and seeing. Just like the major key, like D flat major is C sharp major. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's you just gotta learn these things, man. It's gonna like make it a lot easier for you, especially like when making beats, um, when recording artists, and you're trying to find the right auto tune key. Like if you don't have mixed in key or anything. And you just know the beat is in this key, but you can't find the auto tune key for it. You just want to find the relative minor or the relative major. All right? Way soon, real time, you'll be able to pull up D sharp minor and put that in the scale. And I'm going to show you right now how you can do it. And that's the difference between auto tune and way tune. All right? So, like, that's the auto tune pro. So, we're going to put up the way soon, real time, if I can find it. All right? So we got Waze Tune Real Time, and I was saying, like, the beat, like, and this is real important. So if you have Waze Tune Real Time, you can do this scale. You can go D sharp minor, and you just said this is. Like, yo, right, so you can set the scale in Waze Tune Real Time, right? But if you don't have it and you just have any other one that you can't really just set the scale by itself, 
you're gonna need to know this and this is the hack man like it's perfect it's perfect and just to prove a point this is what it sounds like when it's in it's recorded in the right key and i'm just gonna record it it's gonna sound retarded because i don't really have no effects on it <clears throat> all right let's let me see it's on the record yeah record it's all right Turn it, hey, baby, don't go away. Say, whoa, yeah, 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 what i'm talking about man like it's like it sounds normal but if i was to record and try to find it and like it would sound crazy man like it would sound it would sound so crazy like recording in the wrong key here we go One. Whoa, whoa. see that's wrong I pop out with a lady. You, you don't know it's wrong, but you try to force it anyway. And you blame the plug-in, but it's not the plug-in. It's just the fact you didn't know. Everything I know, lady. Like, everything I know, lady. Everything I know. That's how you get the perfect settings every time, man. Because if you know the circle of fifths, you're going to get the best settings. And the auto-tune is not going to be out of key. You'll never be out of key if you know the circle of fifths. And that's, that's something that I challenge you to learn, you to work on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know them, but sometimes I forget because I don't have to use them all the time. <laughs> because, like, not a lot of beats really get crazy, you know? But make sure you like comment subscribe to the channel let me know if this is something that you never thought about or if i helped you man but um make sure you stick around on the channel man subscribe leave a comment because i'm giving away way soon real time at 10,000 subscribers man might give away two copies but make sure you like comment subscribe man so you can know if you can win this plugin or not all right